ES Audio. What's up? I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, why WhatsApp could end up being blocked in the UK. But first, a photographer who won a top Sony World Photography Award has turned down the prize after admitting his entry was actually created by artificial intelligence. German artist Boris Eldagsen won an award in the Creative Open category last week for his piece, an apparent image of two women in an old-style sepia-tone photograph. But it was all a ruse to see if an AI image would be accepted as an entry. On his website, Boris said that he applied to the competition as a cheeky monkey to find out if the competitions are prepared for AI images to enter. He concluded that they are not and said AI is not photography. Encrypted messaging services, including WhatsApp, Signal and Element, have signed an open letter opposing the online safety bill over a clause that they say would undermine their users' secure messages. It would be the equivalent of putting a CCTV camera into everybody's house and have it automatically search for abusive content and report anything suspicious to a private company to moderate, except in your DMs. Matthew Hodgson, CEO of Elements, told us the bill would allow the government to obligate encrypted messaging apps to allow the scanning of people's private messages. Part of the bill that could trigger this action is designed to help the government target abusive and illegal content. But Matthew said this would effectively open up a back door to people's content that hackers could exploit. It actually provides a route that allows bad actors to go and access content. So you have effectively created a surveillance infrastructure that a hacker could access in order to start getting a different content. Matthew told us if the bill passes in its current form, people in the UK would lose access to the top encrypted messaging apps. We're at the point where organisations like WhatsApp were saying they would rather be blocked in the UK than um, implement this sort of scanning technology. Uh, element we would be forced to stop offering our services in the UK. I believe that Signal has also said that they would walk away from the UK if this goes through. Lord Clement Jones is backing an amendment to the bill that would exempt encryption apps from being obligated to scan through messages. In an interview in the US, Elon Musk has claimed he's working on his own artificial intelligence model, which he called Truth GPT. Musk told Fox News he's working on a maximum truth-seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe. His rationale behind the concept was that an AI that cares about understanding the universe is unlikely to annihilate humans because we're an interesting part of the universe. But we don't know how far down the line this new AI concept is. All we do know is, just last month, Musk set up a new artificial intelligence company called X.AI. Bird flu restrictions on poultry and captive birds have been eased across the UK, but there are concerns the H5N1 virus is still circulating. The easing means truly free-range eggs can be sold again, as hens were kept indoors over the winter. The biggest ever outbreak of bird flu in the UK and the world was recorded last year. There are concerns it could impact wild bird populations again this year, though, because the restrictions are being lifted just as seabirds are set to migrate to the UK. Now, new analysis suggests poor diets contributed to more than 14.1 million cases of type 2 diabetes in 2018, more than 70% of new diagnoses across the world. Researchers at the Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy at Tufts University in the US looked at data from 1990 to 2018 and found 11 dietary factors that are driving the type 2 diabetes burden across the world. The team suggests that of the 11 factors considered, three had a big contribution to the rising global incidence of type 2 diabetes. These were insufficient intake of whole grains like oats and whole wheat, excesses of refined rice and wheat, and the overconsumption of processed meat. Coming up, the shape-shifting antibiotics and the boy who got trapped inside an arcade game. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. 
Researchers in Australia have developed shape-shifting antibiotics, which it's hoped will help in the fight against antibiotic resistance. They modified an existing antibiotic called vancomycin, which is often used as a last resort for serious bacterial infections. Teams at the University of Adelaide were able to connect two molecules of the antibiotic with a flexible shape-shifting core, meaning that new molecules can adapt how they interact with bacteria. They tested the molecules and showed they were a stronger antibiotic that was able to kill bacteria that was initially resistant to vancomycin. Now, the mystery behind a spiral of light caught on camera above Alaska over the weekend has been solved. What looked like some kind of alien vortex or a portal to outer space appeared amid the aurora for a few minutes. Experts believe it was caused by excess fuel from a SpaceX rocket that had launched just hours earlier. Space physicist Don Hampton from the University of Alaska Fairbanks Geophysical Institute said when that fuel is released at high altitudes, it can turn into ice, causing a cloud that is sometimes swirly. And finally, a teenage boy has had to be rescued after getting trapped inside an arcade game machine at a North Carolina theme park. The 13-year-old climbed into a Cosmic XL bonus game claw machine at Carowinds in Charlotte in an attempt to steal one of the prizes inside. Pictures show him stuck inside the glass case. He was eventually released and then banned from the park for a year for attempted theft. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for The Leader Podcast to hear our roundtable discussion about the latest episode of Succession. We're back tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. See you then.